And the machining market, um, it's very common that you have to engrave the part numbers onto a part you're making, maybe the customer logo. And things like that are constant from part to part to part. But then there's things that aren't constant. Um, commonly, you know, I see a date to manufacture. You know, it's going to vary from one week to the next. And then even more intensive is parts that have um, serialized engraving. You know, basically every part's going to have its own unique serial number. Having recognized this challenge here at MLC CAD Systems, we have developed a post processor that that takes all that work away. Basically, the customer puts in the constant engraving and then chooses where the serial number will begin, outputs the program, loads the NC files to the machine, and the machine takes care of it. There's no more involvement of having to recreate new NC files from one part to the next. I've got a part file here that's kind of typical of like what would be a serial number tag. And then I've got the toolpath that does the constant engraving. And when I say constant, you know, the things that's going to be engraved every part, you know, got the part number, got SN, pound signed, and then made in USA. And I'm basically doing everything except for the, the four digit serial number. So with, with our, our post processor that we've developed, it uses, actually uses a drill cycle, believe it or not. Um, and then in this drill cycle, you know, you've probably seen that when you go to a credit drill cycle and you choose your, your type of cycle, there's all kinds of custom cycles to choose from. But on this one, uh, we've got it put in as serial number engraving. And when you choose that, what you're doing here, you notice that the fields change uh, description to tell exactly what you're telling it. Tell it the number of digits. So this basically sets the, the leading zeros that are engraved. And then we, we get the text height. And I'm just simply right clicking in the field, choosing the length of an entity. And I'll just go and choose something like, like the vertical component of the letter N. So we'll choose that and that returns the, the height of it. The spacing, same thing, I'm right clicking, choosing to get the distance between two points. So I'll just choose from that X to the next X and that there's a, the distance between. And then we've got the serial number increment. You know, So for every run, that's what it increments the, the next number to engrave upward by. And what we're doing is using variable number 500 to control for what serial number we want to begin our first uh, serial number at. So let's just say we want to start with serial number 101. A major advantage of this is that it eliminates the need to have Mastercam available to the person running the machine. This puts the, the logic for this engraving into the machine itself. So if you have operators on the floor, you have a second shift or a third shift, and they need to update the engraving, they just simply go to that variable on the machine that we specify, type in the number it now needs to engrave, and they're, you know, they can keep on going. It doesn't involve Mastercam at all. You know, once the program is running, you don't want to mess with it. Um, in fact, they're going to lock the edit out on it so that people can't go and change things. But they still need to be able to control for that engraving. So it, it, it totally puts it into the machine itself.